Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here, and I have a new gun to show you. This is just going to be an unboxing and uh, kind of telling you about the firearm. Um, this is a Sky CPX2. Now it comes in this little cardboard box. It's kind of a cool cardboard box. <clears throat> has all your instruction manuals and uh, new Sky Owner Special. Oh, it must be uh, laser uh, lasers. Um, no questions asked warranty information uh, because Sky has a very excellent warranty. And of course, there's your, <clears throat> there's your manual. It also came with a trigger lock already installed. Um, not gonna use that, so I just took it off and left it off. You have your spent shell casing from when they test fired it. Um, you ha you, it comes with some extra base plates. Now, I, it comes with the uh, finger extension ones already installed. I, I uh, uninstalled one of them and switched it out for the flat one just to try it out. Uh, but it does come with the two flat ones in this bag and the finger extension ones uh, on the magazine and it does come with uh, two magazines so there's your extra magazine fits right in there uh, here's your keys for the trigger lock which I probably won't ever use and here is the gun I went with the stainless steel option again 10 round magazine there's the what the flush floor plate looks like um, and this is the CPX2, which doesn't have the external uh, thumb safety, which uh, I prefer. Double action only. Let's check that it's unloaded, which it is. Has a nice uh, big uh, slide release, slide stop, and uh, it is very, um, very positive. Again, double action only, so it's actually... Not as heavy as I thought it would be. Um, so it's not too bad. Kind of like a, uh, kind of like my Taurus. Um, except this is a plastic trigger. Like the, the actual trigger itself is plastic. So not too wild about that, but it also is a polymer framed gun. Um, so it is what it is. And this was a very inexpensive gun. And in fact, this is also a, uh, Kind of a controversial gun when it comes to uh, people in the firearms world. Um, a lot of people on YouTube swear by these, and they say that they're excellent and uh, they're, you know, a good, um, like they're a, they're a good investment for people on a budget because this was only a hundred and eighty nine dollars from Bud's Gun Shop. And uh, I did the 180 day layaway. Not that I really needed 180 days because I think I, I uh, got it paid off in like three, three and a half months. Because um, I, I also bought it with another gun on 90 day layaway. Um, so, you know, it took me like th about three months to pay this off. Um, but that's, that's really not a whole lot of money for a nice self-defense pistol. And that's what I'm gonna use this for after I put some rounds through it, make sure it's reliable. And uh, you know, it's gonna be one of my concealed carry guns because other than this and my Taurus, um, my only other options are full-size pistols, which uh, are not ideal for the summer months. I do carry them in the winter months when, I, when I'm wearing big heavy jackets, but in the, in the summer months, it's not, uh, they're not so ideal. So I bought this, um, but again, this is a, a rather controversial gun to gun owners because some people think that they're awesome and some people think they suck because they have some problems with them. But then that also goes back to the no questions asked guarantee warranty. So, um, you know, if you have anything wrong with it, you can send it back to Sky and they'll fix it for free. You know, it's, it's any. It's a, a guarantee. So um, they're gonna, they stand behind their product and if, if it's not right, they'll make it right for free. And uh, that's something I really admire. You don't really see that a whole lot. I mean, Ruger has a very good, um, they have a very good warranty and a very good customer service program. 
but they don't say no questions asked. Sky says no questions asked. And um, so, you know, we'll see what happens. I mean, if I have any problems with the gun, I'll call up Sky and I'll have it fixed. But if not, hey, that's awesome. I got a nice uh, sub $200 gun that's reliable. But I don't know, I'm gonna take it to the range um, in the next couple months. Uh, I am planning on building a steel target stand and getting some steel targets, so I'll probably take it out then whenever I get that all put together. Um, and I'll take it out and test it out with this and probably put a couple hundred rounds through it and uh, just see how it does. But anyway, that's just the quick unboxing of the Sky CPX2. So far, it seems like a pretty good gun. Um, not necessarily the best quality gun, but for the money, it's, a, it's definitely a very good gun. Um, I wouldn't consider it a Saturday Night Special like a Jennings or a Jimenez or anything like that. It's definitely a better quality gun than that. So anyway, subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook, follow me on Vidme. I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.